Into the dark streets we ran. I discovered quickly that half a year indoors did little for my physique, and I was out of shape. After only a few blocks, I was gasping for breath. Yamazaki, who was running ahead of me, suddenly stopped and looked sharply behind us. Don't tell me someone's behind us. Seems like Yamazaki's hunch was right. What should I tell Yamazaki? Yamazaki, you should go! <laughs> Yamazaki, you should- yeah, that's the answer. I'll stay behind. Yamazaki, please, you should go. If I distract the enemies, then you could go in the meantime. Yamazaki wasn't looking to take no for an answer, so I nodded in good faith. I looked to what lay ahead of me. As I stepped into the next intersection, I saw a flash of metal from the corner of my eye. Ah! I kept running. I pretended I didn't hear the sounds of swords ringing against one another behind me and ran. My knees felt weak and my legs shook, but I kept going. They'd have to collapse or tear themselves to pieces before I'd stop. Even so, I felt so slow. I wanted to cry out, to scream at my body to go faster, faster! Ah! A bright light suddenly cut through the darkness and I placed my hand over my eyes from the glare. My heart stopped. Was it Joshi's soldiers? I froze. What are you doing? I very nearly began to cry with relief. Hijikata-san was not dressed in the usual light blue jacket, but rather a bright white uniform to be seen in dimly lit places. Instead, I simply collapsed as Harada reached out to grab me. I grabbed a hold of Harada's hand and pulled my body to its feet. I wanted to tell him I had permission to leave and explain it was all right for me to be there, but I was so wind winded that I could barely speak. Besides, I wasn't sent to Hijikata-san to make excuses. I took as deep of a breath as my shuddering lunch lungs could manage before speaking. The, the meaning, Arikida. Suddenly, Hijikata's expression changed. <laughs> I nodded rapidly. Hijikata gestured towards me. Sanan-san,なら脱走を見過ごさねえ。つまり、こいつは早朝命令で頓傷を出たってことだ。I <laughs> like this line and I don't know why. Sana lost his arm, not his brain. Yamazaki. I finally got some of my breath back, and I did my best to tell them what had happened. Aizu and Shoshidai, how did they get out? Did they go I just shook my head. She got to thought for a moment, then spoke. Harada and Saito nodded curtly and then turned to, the to their businesses. Anta mo kore ijo no tandoku kodo wa kiken da. Ore tachi ka fukuchou ka dochira ka ni doukou shiro. I still lacked the breath to respond properly, so I simply nodded. We both knew they couldn't leave me here. But whom should I accompany? We're staying with Hijikata. 
The prospect of being alone with him was rather frightening, but for reasons I still don't understand, I decided to go with Hichikata-san. We were quiet for a while. I felt like I should say something, but I wasn't sure what. Instead, I kept quiet. After a moment, he glanced down at me. I never thought Hichikato-san of all people would praise me for anything. My heart fluttered momentarily in my chest. But what did he mean by an advantage? If the battle at Dikta Inn had begun, it didn't seem like we had much of an advantage at all. We stepped from the alley into the central avenue. Um, Hijikata-san, why are we out here on the street? I blinked, not sure what to make of that. Yamazaki appeared beside us without making a sound. Yamazaki, you're safe! He didn't seem to have been hurt at all, thank goodness. Yamazaki's eyes slid to me for a moment, then back to Hishikata-san. いきたいの件は、すでにお聞きを呼びかと思います。自分は会津藩と諸次第へも通達を行うよう、三男総長より促されておりましたが。だろうな。次の指示は追って出す。山崎はひとまず、俺と一緒に来い。承知。腰の表
長は会津藩の介入を封じようとしてくれているのだ Yamazaki held Hijikata san in such high regard. So when Hijikata san said we have an advantage, this is what he was referring to. Shikashi, whatever any more to me. She said, You can ye, none junior more high rock and edaro. Ikedao, Torikakum crying a seki no yamada. Sore to mo. ランセンに巻き込まれて死にてえと言うなら止めはしねえが我が身が可愛いならおとなしくしとくんだな Hijikata-san's tone as much as his words left no room for argument Until the battle ended he stood his ground and not a single man challenged him Finally, the sun rose from the black sky. The raid itself had only lasted two hours. But for me, at least, it had felt far longer. There had been 20 Imperial Nationalists at the Ikeda Inn. The Shinsengumi had killed seven Ronin and injured four more. I learned later that, with the help of the Aizu Domain and the Kyoto Judiciary, Judiciary Commissioner, they arrested 23 people. The owner of the Ikadean had also been arrested for trying to help the Choshu rebels escape. The Shinsengumi had won an incredible victory, fighting against superior numbers in enemy territory, but they paid dearly for it. Okita had taken a blow to the chest and lost consciousness. Heisuke had been cut on the forehead and the bleeding refused to stop. Nakakura had injured his left hand. One of the Shinsengumi soldiers lost his life at the inn's rear entrance, and two others were severely injured there as well. It didn't seem likely like they would survive. The Kyoto military and judiciary commissioner also fought the Choshu Ronin. With their successful resolution of the Battle of, of Ikeda Inn, the Shinsengumi had, at last, made a name for themselves. It looked as though the peace in Kyoto had been protected. Never could I have imagined what the ultimate result of their victory would be. Guess what we get to do? We get to do some skipsy doodles again. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna skip this, but I think I know what this is. End of July, 1864. Weeks passed since the Battle of the Ikeda Inn. In the meantime, the Shinsengumi grew stricter during their rounds to arrest the numerous outlaw ronins that escaped from the Ikeda Inn. Rumors surfaced as extremists who were plotting to exact revenge on the Shinsengumi. Additionally, there were also problems occurring with warriors spanning from other domains, making things tense around the headquarters. Things were finally settling down. Yep,、yeah, there it is. As a result of my efforts during the battle, they grew more encouraging of my involvement. The Shinsengumi allowed me to sweep the area in front of the headquarters on my own. One day, I was cleaning the courtyard with a broom when I heard a gentle footstep s approach me. Sumimosen, Gotiraga, Shinsengumi no Tonsho deska? Oh, yes. The voice came from behind me, so I was cut off guard when answering. Didn't I meet you the other day? Konnichiwa. Ochaya san irai desu ne. I met him on the first day I was allowed to leave the Shinsengumi compound. This was the mysterious samurai that helped me while I waited, awaited Hijikata san's return at the tea shop. Why, yes! I appreciated your help the other day. Yeah. 大したことではありませんでしたからそれより元気そうで何よりです Now that I remember it, this man called me by my name when I encountered him But I never learned his name I remember Hijikata-san scolded me for not knowing his name So I brought up the question Ah,、uh, I'm sorry for never asking your name despite you saving me If it's alright, 
Is it alright if I get your name? His eyes twinkled kindly before he spoke, and I sensed a faint melancholy in his voice. Ah, Hachiro Iba. Iba Hachiro. What a pretty name. I'd have to tell Hijikata san later. So, how may I help you today, Iba? Eh, Jitsuo. Iba kept stealing a glass towards the base. I assumed his business was with the Shinsengumi. When I first met him, Iba defended a tea shopkeeper from Takeda. In this encounter, Takeda proudly declared himself as a warrior of the Shinsengumi. I slightly suspected Iba intended to visit and inform the leaders about the incident. Hijikata showed up suddenly, as if he telepathically knew I was speaking to someone. Oh, Hijikata-san, this man is... Before I could finish my sentence, the man ran towards Hijikata-san. Oh, when Hijikata-san realized who it was, his eyes grew wide. <笑>驚きました。幕名で教師たちに来てるんです。それより新選組って本当に都市さんたちのことだったんですね。この目で見るまでは信じられなかったけど。おめでとうございます。本当に侍になれたんですね。おい、冷やかすなよ。まだ扱いは浪人と同じなんだからよ。でも侍になりたいって夢が叶ったじゃないですか。冷やかすなって言ってんだろう。いいえ。江戸じ
This meant Eva was someone who worked directly with the Shogun. What an honor. It made no sense why he would interact with the Shinsengumi or why he had business with us. Uh, I did my best to nod without offending him. おさな、旗本であると同時に、江戸じゃ4本指に入る道場の一つ、Ibo's eyes shined with adoration, but Hijikata Sun's scarf rolled his eyes. I think I'm safe to skip forward. That's the same. <laughs> How did he know everything? When he mentioned my father's name, the hairs on my neck stood up. How do you know my father's name? I guess Ijikata san was also shocked by his knowledge, and he looked dubiously towards Iba. Alright, this changed! This is a change! Just wait. Why did he know my father's father's name? それは、すごい昔のことですが、雪村診療所に行ったことがあるんです。僕のこと、覚えていませんか？Eva asked timidly, and I it finally clicked for me. If Eva had visited my father's clinic, then that explains why he would have known my name and my father. No matter how hard I tried, however, I couldn't recall his face or name from memory. Were you a patient? Uh, are you a patient of my father? Iba looked a little forlorn by my response. <laughs> ああ、そっか。でも今度はこっちを訪ねるようにしますから。はあ？何言ってやがる。お前は来なくていい。That's <笑> Eva drew Hijikata in closer in a jovial manner, and Hijikata blushed at the notion. Hijikata is normally really uptight, so seeing him behave this way was startling. I had a lingering suspicion that Hijikata was actually enjoying himself. And here comes the others. Alright. <laughs> Before we knew it, evening had come, and Eva told us it was time for him to depart. では、江戸に戻ったら、コードさんのことを聞いてみます。言っておくが、その件は内密にしてくれ。わかりました。誰にも公害しません。As we exchanged goodbyes, the warriors returned from their afternoon rounds. One of them seemed to take notice of us, and he rushed over while shouting. お前はあの時の。God fucking damn it is Takada! I can't wait till we get to his fucking part, but it's not this route. It was Takada glaring at Iba angrily and demanding answers. What are you talking about? I don't know if you're going to meet you with the first time. Are you going to grow up? Are you going Bokua 
幕府直参奥久住め伊馬あの伊馬道場のはい今日に所要があって参りましたので窮地である市営官の皆さんへ挨拶に寄ったところです挨拶などと嘘をつくな先日のことを告げに来たのだろうあくまで挨拶に来ただけですそれとも先日のこととやらを思い出した方がいいでしょうかイバズ・アイズ・シャープン・ディレクリー・アタケダアンド・ラダー・ストップ・ヒス・ペーシング・アンディープン・ヒス・ボイスそれはあなたがそう言うならそれでいいでしょう私は失礼する Takara seemingly snapped into shape, speaking with a semblance of respect before storming off. Iba seemed relaxed despite everything. Everyone suddenly stood still, and I was afraid of another incident, so I sighed once Takara left. Toshi-san, are you now? The Governor of 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 the Governor. お前に迷惑はかけねえようにする僕は大丈夫ですがこの子の方を気にかけてあげてください一緒にいたのがバレたら大変そうですああ分かったそれじゃあまた会いに来ますねああ、oh. Did he mean he's coming to see me? Did he just mean he was visiting the headquarters? I couldn't respond since I was unsure, and Iba smiled to me with his twinkling eyes. His face seemed reluctant, if not a little forlorn, forlorn, and he left the compound. I stared at him as he walked into the distance, until his small figure was removed from my eyes. Iba was a mysterious person. Even if he was someone very important and upper class, he acted with integrity and kindness, commanding a lot of respect from the captains of the Shinsengumi. I did not think there was a samurai like him in the shogunate. 